Well, here we are on the magnificent Murray River, back on my home ground. Today, I'm gonna to drift along the edges of the cliffs, searching for some golden perch. It's a really effective way to catch these fish. So my weapon of choice for this situation is a little half ounce red and black spinnerbait. Spinnerbait's great because you can fish them in shallow, but you can also cast them out wide, let them sink down, and you're covering all the water. There's one, <laughs> sitting right in front of that log. So typical, just hiding out of the current. Feels like a nice fish. Oh, it is a nice fish. Check that out, that's awesome. Perfect start. He is a fat yellow. Oh, that's awesome. That's such a good run of yellows. Down here over the summer, you get some really good quality fish. And he is a stunning example. Absolutely crunched that spinnerbait against the rocks. It's exactly where I thought he was gonna be. I'm very happy with that one. Get on the board, that's awesome. Off he goes. So these cliffs that we have down here in SA are just absolutely incredible. It's from when the uh, bottom of the river used to be an inland sea millions of years ago and all that water drained out and what been left with is these beautiful sandstone cliffs and they're just absolute fish magnets. I really like to have my spinnerbait working as much as possible. So as soon as I cast out, get in touch with it, give it a pull to get the blades working as it's sinking. And as soon as it hits the bottom, give it another good whack, get the blades kicked into gear, and then you can slowly roll it back. Oh, oh that was one. They <laughs> slam it so good. Go. One of the coolest things about drifting along the cliffs is you also get to see these big carp cruising as well. And I've got the perfect little snack for him. On the end of this fly rod. There he is, he's just sitting by that rock there. Tail out. Give us another look at ya. Eats it. <laughs> that was awesome. He is a tank. <laughs> that was so much bigger <laughs> than I ate it than what it looked like when it was cruising along the edge there. I'm going to be here a little while. <laughs> that was wicked. Oh. And away he goes. <laughs> that was cool, Wes. Oh. So much fun. Come on. They are such a strong fish. They're such a pest and they're so smelly, but man, are they fun to catch. There he comes. Ah. <laughs> he does not want to give up, that's for sure. Come on, here he comes, get a shot. He just doesn't want to give up. Here he comes. Again, don't jump over the net this time. Jump out of the net. Oh my God, that was terrible. 
Here we go. Got him that time. No wonder he doesn't even fit in the net. Look at that. That is a tank. Oh my God. I'll just get the boat on spot lock so I don't drift so far. Give you a look at this fish. Big, smelly mud marlin. But man, how much fun are they? Just go to town. Just a white unweighted woolly bugger in the front of his snods there. Beautiful, that was so much fun. And a dispatch of him, get him out of the river and I continue yellow fishing. That was cool fun. Well, we've come to the end of our drift. There's a really nice cliff a little bit further up, so I'm gonna shoot up there. Do it. Yep, got him. Big fish. That's awesome. Smacked it right along the edge there. Get him in the net. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Short and sweet. Nice fish. It's good to change locations. And come up trumps. He found one fish along that other bank, but come straight down here and cracked onto one straight away. Flash me in the face. So easy to understand why the fish hang so close to the bank along the cliffs here. You see all the undercuts, there's so much cover for them. He is right off the tip of that stick there. He just absolutely whacked that spinnerbait. He's a really dark one. Super cool in the river here. You get all sorts of, and here he's coming, he's thinking, oh, I'll have that. I better get him in the net. But yeah, it's so interesting. You get some yellows that are super silver and some that are really dark like this one here. Get him in the net before the pelican eats him. Beautiful fish, check that one out. If you come down to fish on the Murray for yellows, I've always found that the afternoon is better. He is just a stud, stud of a fish. And check out how bronze he is. Super different color. We're gonna see who's quickest, the yellow belly or the pelican. I'm gonna put my money on the yellow belly because I'm not gonna give the pelican a chance. Sorry, mate. You don't wanna eat this anyway. It's full of metal and shiny blades. You don't want it. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, absolutely belted it. At least 25% of your bites can be on the drop spin of eating. Don't always get them. Is he gonna come back? Not the cast. Whoa! Whoa! 
Man, did that smash that. Oh, whoo, jeez. Yep. Oh, man, that is a solid fish. Oh. I'd say 80% of the time when you're fishing the Murray, it's a real grind. And then the other 20% of the time, it'll absolutely turn on. But if you just keep ticking along, keep your casts right, you'll keep picking up the fish as you go down the cliff. And that is a cracker. Check him out, that is wicked. There he is, that's a big one. It's on that front hook again. You can see down here our yellows get this red saws. Oh on the top of their fins, but it doesn't seem to worry them at all. That's why I love spinnerbaiting along the cliffs, picking up fish like this, along this beautifully scenic location. I just love the Murray, that is super cool. All it takes is just a piece of a tree to fall in the water. Oh, big one, right underneath the willow. I chucked in there a few times. I knew there was gonna be one in there and I just absolutely smacked it. Oh, that was fun, that was super fun. <laughs> and he's on the stinger. Finally got one to go on the stinger. Come on fish, in you come. There he is. Awesome, another nice yellow. Just pinned on that stinger there. Not very well, mind you. Hey, 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 settle down. Settle. Oh, he is an angry yellow. Check him out, that's awesome. All right, you can go back in. That was cool, Arthur. Another one just slow rolling that spinnerbait. Black and red, if I had a dollar for every time I'd caught a yellow on a black and red spinnerbait, I'd be a very rich man. Nice, there he is. That was not coming off. And you can see why they're on the feed, oh, because he has got a whopping big bony brim down his gob. So spinnerbait is not that big a meal for him. Sorry, dude. This has regurgitated his dinner. He can go back in. Off he goes. So just be ready throughout the entire retrieve because I'll eat it on the drop. They'll eat it, you know, first part of the retrieve, but they'll also eat it at the boat as well. So it can come from anywhere, so just be ready. One. <laughs> that was right up near the surface. Oh, and a big school of bait just cruised off. It just shows what they've been eating. Like that last one with the big bony in his mouth, this one was sitting on a school of fish. Settle, settle, be nice. Ah, I knew he was gonna do that, I just knew it. They puff their gills up and they get all grumpy and you know they're just gonna explode. He was pinned super well. Come on, out you go. There he is. Beautiful lower Murray yellow. I'm gonna put him back in. Off he goes. Absolutely smacked it. I had a bit of a flick on the drop and I knew he was there. So I just put a few more casts in and he came back, just could not help himself. Come on, dude, in you come. There he is. <laughs> They're coming in thick and fast now. Now this is one pretty, pretty fish. Beautifully conditioned, very nice size. I think we're gonna keep this one, cook him up on the campfire 
having for dinner tonight. You got a bag limit of five down here, but I only like to keep the odd one just for a feed every now and again. He is just a stunner. Nice, I'll dispatch of him. Yep, nice fish. Oh, get out of there, come on. Straight into the snag. I've cast over the top of this bit that's sitting down on the rock here, and it is just blasted straight back into its house. Come on, dude, out you come. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. He's off. Well, it's getting to that time, I think. It's been an awesome day on the river. It's just one of my favorite spots to be. I reckon the van is calling. There's a nice cold beer waiting for me. I'm gonna watch the sunset down over the cliffs.